and we are live what's up everybody i'm jay from leprechaun tv and your host of the hot seat uh we got a doozy today obviously uh as you guys already know it's a new time new day for the hot seat um we're gonna run with it on sundays i have some guests lined up so we're gonna have fun with it on sundays now sundays at 5 p.m um yeah Oh, wow. So it, it, in today's episode, so I try to get Hobo on um, as a guest since he was the founder and creator of the hot seat. And I'm doing something different that hasn't been done. It's been on Thursdays at 9 p.m. for the whole duration of the uh, show existence. And uh, I just uh, was having problems booking some people and... Uh, yeah, so so we're gonna try this, and so so Hobo agreed to be um, be the guest, but there was a catch to it, and I'm like, uh oh, okay, what what is the catch? He goes, we're gonna have a throwdown. I was like, what? He goes, yeah, I'm coming out of retirement. He goes, we're gonna have a cook off on the E uh, E series Blackstone E series griddle because we both have one. I was like. All right. I I mean, <laughs> I don't know how this judging's going. I don't know how this cook-off's going to go, but we're going to do our best between the both of us. Uh, we've done this plenty of times before. It's nothing new to us. But uh, for everybody in the uh, seats, man, uh, get your drinks and strap, strap in. Uh, we're going to try to make it an hour, but uh, obviously when our dishes are done, our dishes are done. You know what I mean? Uh, we're not going to try to rush it. We're going to try to entertain you guys with a cooking recipe. Um, so, wait, yeah, wait, man. We got to go ahead and bring an e-griddle. I don't know anything about cooking on it. Oh, yeah, right. I mean, he yeah, hasn't I'm done gonna it. going to unbox it. Yeah, right. You don't. You haven't cooked on it that much, have you? Once. Once, right. Yeah, when you first get it, you get it real hot, and you burn all the oil off and shit. Yeah. I call right. that the dust cook. That's what you do. Right. Today's, oh. cook, today's cook is called the, the 156 cook. The 156 cook. Is that where you left off? <clears throat> well, if you'd like to make me full screen, I'll, I'll show you what 156 cook means. There we I'll go. Kind of explain to you. I got to do this because I'm low tech. But... 156 little smokies fit on the e griddle cooker. Oh my god, this guy. <laughs> and you can thank Mr. <laughs> <Gunner for that. laughs> and I called this during the week, too. Oh, you kind of it. It was, it's not a hot dog, you can take me off big screen now, right? Uh, so, so. All week, uh, we've been texting back and forth, and Hobo did a video back in the day on a uh, King Ranch. Uh, it's, it's like a kettle. And he the title was, How Many Hot Dogs Can the King Ranch Fit? Well, this guy put 120 hot dogs on that thing and still had room. So uh, he never figured that out. But as you can see, we got little Smokies. Um, all across that thing. Oh my god. Well, that's that's not my recipe. I'm gonna actually take off a hundred and forty-eight of them. <laughs> right. Every, I don't know, every but, night for the rest of my life. Right. But for science purposes, right. 156 little smokies fit on a Blackstone E series griddle. Correct. 17 inch. 17 inch. <laughs> uh, but what my recipe is going to be is kind of like a Hawaiian, like it's almost like a huli huli. I seen the pineapple, little smoky. I, I so, seen the pineapple. We're going to marinate, and I called that before this. We're going to marinate some red bell pepper and pineapple and some Lowry's Hawaiian marinade. I'm going to do that now. And okay. then little smokies are, I know that, that Uncle Steve's going to be mad at me, but I'm cheating on him. <laughs> so we're gonna use this holy garlic rub. Who's that by? Uh, Fire and Smoke Society. Oh yeah, yeah. So I just thought it would pair well. But if right you'd on. like to go full screen 
and explain yeah, I'm, I'm, actually, I'm, I'm going to take a couple of these off here. I'm going to switch my camera actually to show everybody what I'm doing. And then we'll go full screen and mute hobo. All right, guys. So I'm going to do one of Todd Tobin's famous recipes. Uh, for those that don't know Todd Tobin, he is a face of the Blackstone uh, griddles. And he does a griddle more tour. And one of the dishes that he does to feed everybody, because sometimes, you know, you get 30, 40, 50 people at, at these uh, uh, live cooks demonstrations. Um, he does something called tata, uh, tataloni. It's, it's, been, uh, it's been named, but it's actually a pasta uh, tortellini uh, dish. Um, I got three color, five cheese tortellini, uh, and I got prosciutto and cheese. I think I need to turn the other light on. Let's see. I'm getting a lot of glare. Let's see. Let's see. All right, we'll turn this this way. There we go. All right. So in, in that recipe, he uses uh, chicken. Um, find it at your local well, grocery store or Walmart. Uh, got some garlic and oil. Has anybody ever seen this? Kerry Gold garlic and herb butter. So I got those two. Uh, got some mixed cherry tomatoes, different colors. Uh, I do have some some uh, bell pepper. Try to throw the bell pepper. Uh, we will be adding some basil, and I grabbed some uh, Italian parsley also, some organic baby spinach, of course we got some uh, oil, some olive oil, and then we will, oh, he uses uh, Mazzetti's uh, roasted red peppers, I'm going with the uh, Cocktail onion, because I got the bell pepper. Um, I don't have the Blackstone uh, Italian, but I do have this. Let me see if I can get it. Sugar-free Italian dressing. It's pretty thick, like, uh, like the Blackstone's Italian dressing. I forget the name of it. It's been so long since I've seen Todd and been uh, <laughs> I actually did a quick skim through for through his video just to uh, just to go over what he actually used and what I could substitute and, and obviously create and make my own uh, but we got some people in the house I see Johnny Mags barbecue Christie's in the house Kyle's in the house Joe Everett barbecue judge Webb barbecue what's up Webb? Um, who else did I see mama Lep was in there ski girly obviously the best secretary in the land Dustin the wind all we are is dust in the wind uh, we got Shifter. We got Randy in the house. What's up, Jason Cleveland? Rolling Smoke. What's up? 337's in the house. Angie's in the house. Mick T's in the house. What is up, people? I uh, hope you guys are ready for. We got NTBA in the house. North Texas Barbecue Addicts. What's up, Kenneth? Brian with Lux Zevo Vacations is in the house. How you guys doing on this Sunday? Everybody, uh, 
Monica, hey, happy new year. Um, guys, I hope you guys are hungry because, or I hope you already ate because I'm sure we're going to make you hungry is what I should have said. But uh, yeah, it's a, it's a simple recipe, very easy. And, and this thing's versatile. You see, I've used mine, man. Um, it's hard to get that spot. That's right where the heat's at right there. This is the 17 inch. So uh, it's only one heating zone. Uh, right now I have it. Uh, set at 350 so yeah um, actually I could probably get started I have to move this this is my finishing plate but I gotta cut up these bell peppers Yeah, this is going to be a fun one. Hobo's over there. I can see him over there getting ready. Um, so I'm going to get these bell peppers started. And, of course, I can't see the chat. So let me move my phone over here. Hobo, I already said to hide a hobo. Get out of here. So here's a little trick. Um, let me see if I could hop you up over this. No. Give me some cord. I need some slack. Give me some slack. There we go. All right. There's this little trick I like to do. I forget who I learned this from, but uh, slice it down this way, and then you just roll it. There you go. Boom. See how easy that was? It's an easy one, huh? And then you just... Let's do it. Let's do the next one. So we chop off the top, chop off the bottom, slice next to a vein, turn it on its side, and just roll it down. And there it is. The whole core. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool little trick. Once again, slice the top, slice the bottom, run down the side of a vein, turn it on the side, and roll it. And there you have it, whole core. Let me save the bottoms. You can chop those up. I like to get around. So, use like I said, usually Todd uses the uh, in a jar like this of uh, roasted bell pepper, but. I already had these in the fridge, so why not use them, right? Utilize them. So then you just slice them thin. Boom, like that. 
Going to give the dish a nice color. Come on now, work with me. Sometimes you got to cut half of it because it, it's a circle. Steven and Jacqueline, what's up? Sunday fun day, y'all. Yeah, we throw a slice that one and a half. A little bit of vein left. I like the the these green bell peppers very dominant. These peppers are good. Give you a nice sweet flavor. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, change this recipe. <laughs> these will take the longest so we're going to go with a little bit of olive oil and we're going to hit it with some of this garlic butter I like this for those who didn't see earlier garlic and herb butter Oh, yeah. Chicken nuggets shaped like dinosaurs in the air fryer. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with that, Randy. Get that down. I don't know how much butter I'm going to need. Throw these away. Oh, these are like little snacks, too. Mm. What's y'all's favorite bell pepper? Uh, cook down and then we'll move on to uh, put the chicken on and then uh, 
This 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 dish doesn't take too long. Oh. Well, she, it's not who was in the car accident, was it? Ah. So yeah, that that won't take long for those to cook down. And if you ever consider one buying one of these, this is a great feature right here. If you wanted to speed up that process, it has a lid. So you know what I mean? So to keep those in there, you could add a little water in there. I think I am going to add some seasonings. I got the uh, Uncle Steve Shake uh, gift box. Um, I've used a lot. <laughs> yeah, let's see what am I gonna maybe some lucky shake this is all I got left right here spicier dessert shake I think I'm gonna go with some lucky sprinkle that on the uh, bell peppers shake it's light it's bright I'll tell you that maybe uh maybe I'll move it Giving you guys a shadow, huh? Oh, sorry. But uh here's an orange one for you, a little snack. should be about ready oh I've lost me a couple I need a I need a, a griddle goalie for the electric uh, e-series I wonder if they got one Mojo's in the house. What's up, Mojo? Who else we got? Okay. Now I'm hitting buttons. Uh, shouldn't be. There we go. We've got 31 million JV Hangouts is in here. What's up, JV? Captain Baptum, what's up? Yeah, thank you for joining. That was uh, that was one reason to uh, change the time to five o'clock. My uh, my family over in the UK, across the pond, Ireland, England, whatnot. They uh, they have a chance to join. With it being at nine o'clock on a Thursday night. Everybody got to work the next day, and then, uh, you know, it's 2 a.m., their time. So, they would always have to catch the replay. Well, welcome in, Baptin. The trophy wants to link. <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> oh, good old Kent. <laughs> Hi, Kent.
Smells good yet? That's just that garlic butter and oil. Uh, it, it's a different texture on that butter. It's weird. It's not your regular stick of butter. More compound butter. Yeah, maybe I'll show you guys. Look at the consistency in this butter. It's not your regular stick of butter. Smells amazing though. I think I'm gonna actually add some more now when I put this chicken down. another one keep losing well, it's gonna be fun when I add those uh, cocktail onions and they're rolling around this griddle <laughs> I got it never mind watch this ingenuity Got my griddle goalie now. Oh, there went the camera. Uh oh. Let me switch it back. Hold on. Nope. I lost all camera. You gotta be kidding me. What's going on here? There we are. Hi. Now let's see if I could go back and change it back to the 1080. There we go. So I just put a spatula. Boom. All right. All right, these are cooked down. We're going to go with the chicken. Do a little oil, drizzle, get a drizzle. Drizzle effect for the old heads that would have been AB and Mr. Wade. Gavin. Gavin Wade. They used to have a podcast called Drizzle Effect. It wasn't a podcast. It was just like a talk show. And they would allow callers. You could call in and talk to them. Uh, they did, they did uh, orchestrate a uh, cruise. So everybody that was part of the, uh, the show... They all went on a cruise, and, and any listener or follower could join. What's up, Alden? Dog father in the house. Ho, ho, ho. We got Dutchie outdoor cooking a barbecue. How you doing? How you doing? Happy New Year. Haven't seen you in a while. If you can, guys, share this out. It's a new time. Some people aren't hip, so uh, some some people might be taking their mid-afternoon nap. Uh, NFL.
football is on. So some of you guys might be watching that. And uh, for uh, my Cleveland Browns, we lost to our rivals, uh, Pittsburgh Steelers. That sucked. But life goes on. It's only football. Glad the season's over. It was a horrible season. Get to all this mixed up. Oh, yeah. All that butter, oil. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Now, this is pre cooked chicken. This is not. Uh, Rocket science, more or less, heating it up. Oh, are you ready to come back or what? Or are you just waiting for me to get finished? Hobo uh, is on mute. You good? You gonna wait till you gonna wait till I'm done? Is that what? I, 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 am I oh. on the show? Yeah, I, I've been waiting for I feel like 45 minutes. I already cooked 140 little Smokies. Well, I didn't. You didn't bring. You got controls over there, man. You could have brought yourself back up. I, I can't with the laptop the way it is. Oh, okay. All right. Well, you were on mute, so I, I wasn't able to hear you. I couldn't unmute myself either. You oh, me. okay. My <laughs> bad. Hi, how you doing? I'm good. I'm gonna turn the lights back up. Hang on. Okay. <laughs> Whoopsie. Okay. I got. I got. I was like, Dag. I'm. A, I don't know when he's coming back. What he's doing. <laughs> I, I took a nap. I had two drinks. Right. Um. Stop. Okay. Okay. I gotta take this hoodie off because I've been sitting next to this 390 degree e griddle. Oh, you got it on 390? I only got mine on 350, and I'm I'm burning up in this hoodie. I tell you that. This is my Leprechaun TV shirt that I have to wear backwards if you want to see the logo. Nice. But uh, my, my my little Smokies are are have been uh, what what do we call this resting at room temperature. Okay. So I'm at the room temperature. Uh -huh. Everything else is in my marinade bowl. Okay. It said 15 minutes, but I think we overshot that by double. Okay. But I'll, I'll push it down just a little bit. I, oh, <clears throat> here's the thing. I, I'm, I made these rolls and even got this company to package them for me in the time I was gone. Really? That's cool. I mean, they work for us. It was hard to come up with that name, but I was able to do some Googling of the uh, Italians. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> We're gonna get this bun toasted up. We're going with a bun. We're going with a bun. It's a sandwich. Oh, got you, got you. These little, okay. these little guys were cut in half, and yep. all right, super seasoned. I, I see what you're doing there. Okay, so they'll lay flat on the bread. Gotcha. Of course. Oh, so this is gonna be a little smoky Hawaiian sandwich. Well, smoky Hawaiian sandwich. Nice. I like that. I like that. I, I, I would definitely eat it. I well, would definitely eat it. So for me, these peppers are done. Chicken warmed up. It's not like I'm trying to put a sear on it or anything. I'm just trying to warm the chicken up. I think I'm gonna pull mine so I don't uh, overcook it. Here's my only complaint with this E-Series griddle. What's that? I said, here's my only complaint with this E-Series griddle. What's that? I can go to Lowe's and I can buy like a 20-inch or 16-inch 
standard electric round spinny loopy lube replacement for like 12 bucks, I think. How come they didn't just do that in a square with a big circle that goes round and round and round and round and round? Is beyond me. I don't know. All right, we're going to put down some more oil. So we're going to cook our Ooh, buddy. pasta now. And for those that didn't see earlier, I'm using the Rana three color five cheese tortellini. Quick, easy, already cooked. You use fresh, it'll probably gum up and get sticky and stick to the griddle. And there you go with that. These all mixed around. Oh, one down. One already down. Oh, well. So I'm just going to let these get a little warm and toasty. Probably add some more oil over the top here. Then some more butter. Probably when I'm all done, it'll probably be a stick of butter. That's not healthy. I'm over here cooking low butter, no butter, vegetables, well, fruits. Right. Yeah. Mr. Healthy Hobo 2023. There you go. <laughs> 2023. It's been like since 1984. <laughs> if you don't count the bourbon. <laughs> yeah. Uh, got Bad Beast Barbecue. What's up? We got Yes I Can Barbecue in the house. What's up? Hobo first left. Yep. Next is going to be Blake. We'll cook a burger in an air fryer. Man, I dropped another one. Tag you. These things are expensive. <laughs> so there's, there's my complaint. The lips aren't high enough. Everything slides off. Got to have more self-control. Slow down. I know. Slow down. 390 is the magic number. I never like to tell anybody my secrets, but 390 is the uh, E-Griddle the e secret number. Oh, is it? It is. Okay. I'm going to do my little trick. I'm going to steam it. Amen. Amen. How's it smelling in there, babe? Pretty good, boo boo. How about you? <laughs> Hobo answered for you. <laughs> She's in there patiently waiting for us to get finished so she can uh, watch a movie. <laughs> mm. Let's get these a turn. Oh, yes. Steam's working. Oh, one in the pot. Yeah. So I think after this, 
I will throw the spinach and the herbs down, basil and uh, parsley, more herb butter. I've got garlic. I can put the garlic down. I think I'm going to bump this temperature up, though. 390, definitely the power move. All right, I'm bumping it up to 390 per hobo. It's, uh, it's science for hobo. He knows. Don't ask how. that It'll be a four-hour video. But uh, it is smelling pretty good in here, I have to say. <laughs> um... Let's go with the spinach first. And you're gonna you're just gonna throw it right on there. That should be enough. How come yours ain't sizzling? Did you eat at 390? What's that? How come yours ain't sizzling? Because it ain't at 390. You it's sizzling just at a low volume. Uh, ready? More environmentally friendly sizzle. You hear it? It's sizzling. A little bit. A little, little, little bit. Barbecue, barbacoa bandits, what's up? We got uh, Wep. I already said hi to Wep. What's up? North Texas barbecue addicts. Still hanging in there. What is up, man? We got 32 million watching us, man. Believe that? I'm going to shut this lid. Let that spinach get cooked down just a little bit. Not, not a lot. I still want the consistency. I don't want it mush. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Mrs. Love just uh, read some news about the uh, eight, or, eight is enough uh, kid. What was his name? Adam Rich passed away. Did they say why? Oh, uh, well, that's a good thing. Word is wilted. <laughs> Christy got you. What happened? She said the word is wilted. What did I say? I wasn't paying attention. I was stirring. My melted. Head. I think I said melted down. <laughs> Thank you, Christy. That's the HR of uh, um, the damn offsets. And the player cups guy says that your food, your griddle looks like a fish tank right now. Food. Right. <laughs> oh, shit. I got to actually do work here. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> some basil. We got some. Oh, that smells good. Puppy, look at that. What is that? that that's Real a pineapple packet. that's been hanging out in its sauce here on the griddle. Nice. That looks good. I can't do these complicated cooks like you do. It's, this is actually pretty simple, this cook. I wouldn't have even been able to manage the grocery list for your cook. <laughs> it's like a Jeff from the Griddle Guys cook. <laughs> Post on that. Look at that. Oh, before I lose another one, Put my griddle guard in there. Much longer do you got, Captain? I'm almost done. 
Okay. I'm going to do an experiment. I already tested okay. one. one. So I mean, I got I got a couple more things to add to this, but it, it'll go quick, you know? I'm just asking because I got... I tested one bun, but I'm going to do a little experiment here and throw some of this marinade on the griddle and let it get all uh -huh. sizzly and then try to uh, test the bun in that marinade and compare which one tastes better. Okay. Give her a whirl. Actually, I think I might add more spinach. That wilted down pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm going to put it all in there. Make this thing healthy. No! Tortellini down. Whoa. I'm going to take this fancy uh, Kohl's uh, e griddle watering ceramic white dish. Ooh. Clean that off. Is that a deglaze or a cleaning sizzle? That is a cleaning sizzle. Okay. We ain't got no wine up in here. We ain't bougie. <laughs> I don't know nobody <laughs> named Sherry. <laughs> Well, look, it's so clean. It's just water. I should buy me an e-griddle. And just clean it with a paper mm. towel. There's your sizzle. Talk to my uh, <clears throat> packaging company about making the bag a little more user friendly. Oh yeah, it needs, it needs a bigger mouth. <laughs> well, here we're going to dump a little marinade on here. Make it nice and toasty. Nice. Spread it out a little bit. Mm. Let's give this uh Ooh, me. garlic some chops. Just chopping up some garlic. I like to get the the garlic garlic from like the olive bars at grocery stores you know where it's marinated in oil and herbs and stuff of course I think I gotta turn it down. 360. I just turned mine up to 500. Did you? I'm going opposite effect. Uh oh. I want the top of this bun to be toasty, toasty. Okay. Yeah, so garlic in there. there. Drizzle that oil over it. Give that a thought. All right.
All right. And then we're going to go for the tomatoes. Pour them right in there. Get them all nice and toasty. There you go, Lap. I went all crisscross for you. Oh, nice. Make a jump, jump. Make your neck hurt. Make your neck hurt. <laughs> all right, I can see the finish line. Let me taste. Let me test one. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh, bunny buns getting toasty, toasty. Oh, nice. I think this might be the winner. jar. These things are good. If you had ever tried one, they are good. Get this all mixed up. I think I uh this recipe is like too big for this. So that's one thing I would need to is cut this portion, portion it down. You mean you're not feeding the browns today? Yeah, Joey Edibles is in the house. What's up? Last beer's in the house. What's up? need to shut you anymore. All right. Almost ready to add the chicken and peppers back. fish those other ones out how's it looking so far Lip, how many people are you feeding this will be lunch for the next couple days for uh mrs lep and i mine is dinner for me <laughs> right one sandwich you know <laughs> well two I, I i almost did a meatball sandwich i almost did a meatball sandwich I got everything for that. And uh I was like, man, that'll be too simple. I gotta do something better. I said, he's gonna bring the heat. <laughs> you got lied to, son. Huh? I said, you got lied to, son. <laughs> ah, another one down. All right. I like the these tomatoes, the tricolor ones. Right. Pretty cool. Let's try. All right. Mm -mm. Now I'm gonna go in with the Italian dressing. shake mm. 
Get every tortellini. Mm -hmm. I just soak that up. I kind of had a secret taste left, and this thing's pretty fire. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh, do its thing for a minute. Let me try one with that sauce. I didn't even try the sauce. Mm. Okay. Okay then. I ain't mad at you. That's pretty good sauce right there. First time ever trying it. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. This chicken and peppers back in. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. There we go. I got a surprise at the end too. Dessert? No, I thought about it, but you see this recipe already took too long, you know what I mean? My griddle's about cooled off, it's already cleaned. <laughs> the sandwich is I'm, dying in the, in the heat tray. I'm getting ready to plate up now. <laughs> I'm gonna make another drink, take your time. Okay. The more the merrier. <laughs> All right, yeah, I don't like this front lip on this. Everything always falls off. It gets down underneath there and burns and messes up your front. Makes it look all dirty. <coughs> what's everybody saying in the chat? JV, what's up? Keep making these awesome cooking videos, my friend. Thank you, thank you. Actually, I'm gonna try to make um, maybe uh, maybe do once a month or something um, like like a throwdown cook off. We'll see. We'll see how that works. All right, it's time to pull this off. Thank you, though, for the super chat, man. I appreciate you, J uh, J JV. Oh, this ain't even going to fit on my serving plate. That's crazy. So I'm going to have to bring that bowl back and do this. Apparently, I'm giving Ski Girly scrapes. Scrapes. <laughs> 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 Google Pixel answer. You should That's use a spell check. Oh, yeah. 
So there's that. And we'll clean this off real quick. Did we hit it? Who wants to hear it sizzle? I do, I do, I do, I do. Oh, just a little one. That's because you don't have the white ceramic dish from Kohl's. <laughs> oh, is that what it was? <laughs> down in the link below in the description. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So you always want to clean after your cook. You come back the next day, it's nasty. Get another paper towel. I'll clean it better. I just need this. I need this right here, right now. So I can show you the rest. Boom. How's that look? Eh? Get a close up on that. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Oh, let me let me fix this tripod real quick. And we'll get you uh Settled in here. Are we even? A little bit, huh? All right. There's that. And here's the finishing touch. A little bit of Parmesan cheese. Oh, yeah. Boom. There it is, guys. There it is. Finished product. Pasta Tortellini by Todd Tovin, also known as Tadaloni. Woo. I'm hot now. You hot? I'm hot. All right. <laughs> uh, Thrash Life, what's up? Blake TV. Hey, you're next. I want to have a cook off with you. Hi, Connie. How are you? Ah, gotta have the cheese, Christy. So are we gonna taste test these? Is that what we're gonna do? I'm reheating mine on the grill, go ahead. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm using that leftover heat. I don't know okay. what the plate's uh, <clears throat> melting temperature is, but it's, we'll find out. Right, right. Let me get a fork. <clears throat> Uh, let me bring this okay then so I'm going to have to change change my view webcam here we are By the light, right? Like a douche in a canoe, something, 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 something. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let me get a bite. Let me get some chicken. Oh, that's a good bite right there. Mmm. Mm. 
I run. Did you just walk out of a Baptist church? What happened? I know it's Sunday. Mm -hmm. BC Herb. What's up, Herb? Thank you. Appreciate that. That's how good it was. It made me dance. Ah. All right. So uh, my, my comparison is, is it better to marinate the, or use the marinate to toast the bun versus not marinate? Oh, non-marinated. I ain't gonna lie to you, this holy garlic shit on these little smokies is pretty fire. Yeah, you like those, huh? I got some in the fridge. No, no. The holy garlic rub on the Little Smokies. What? I hate this fucking <laughs> words of flavor right. combination. My flavor mm -hmm. profile I was working for. Because this is just shit <laughs> together at the fucking grocery store last minute because you gave me five minutes that, that we were doing a show. We sent the <laughs> It's pretty good. But I will say this. Using the marinade to toast the bun takes a shitload longer, but it's in the fucking bread. Mm -hmm. And holy balls, is it good? Here's where I go. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment, <laughs> ring my bell. <laughs> ring my bell. And the description is a link to everything ring in this video. <laughs> Those lamps on sale on Amazon. Oh. <laughs> Bananas on pizza. Good old Captain Baptin. <laughs> nice <and> toilet paper. <laughs> but this was fun. Yeah. It's been a while since I did anything like this, too. I hope everybody enjoyed it. Everybody seemed to stick around. Um, apologies. I didn't get really, really time to chat that much, but, you know. Kind of right. cooking and not reading. My bad. I wish I had a big TV in front of me. That'd be awesome. But this stuff is fire, man. I have a secret taste testing going on in the background. Okay, cool. they have been drooling. Looks like the St. Bernard I saw hanging head <laughs> out the window earlier today at the grocery store. Uh-huh. <laughs> Look at Joey. <laughs> Is that right, Joey? No, oh, that's funny. Um, Randy says both uh, cooks were fire. Appreciate that. The bun in the Get that. I, I I got a second vote for the marinated bun. It's oh yeah, the way to go. Okay. I took one bite out of this sandwich. Look at how fucking left is left. <laughs> it, looks like a, it looks like one of them things on Jurassic Park showed up and fucked up something. <laughs> That's funny. Um, so what's up, man? You feel like hanging out for a minute? I'll drop the um, I'll drop the link and we'll hang out. Off air, I can do that, but I gotta like flip shit around. Yeah, I gotta take everything upstairs, so it'll, it'll be a minute for me. But I'll drop the link, and everybody can hang out in the in the uh, basement, so I get upstairs. Then I could eat the rest of this one bite that's left. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm gonna drop the link. We're gonna we're gonna hang out off air and. Um, Thanks for hanging out on the on the new day, new time. Appreciate that. Hobo, thanks. Uh, Ski Girly, thanks. Appreciate you guys uh, for all you do for the show and myself and make it a little easier, you know. Um, but tonight there is a show, too. So this is going to be like a segue into another uh, barbecue show. Uh, some some folks might know uh, it's uh, Goodfellas. Uh, barbecue chat uh, with uh, Jorge, 805 Barbecue Junkie. Then you got John, Salt, Pepper, and Fire. And then you got Lance from Sleeper Barbecue. 
uh, they all do a, a show together. And uh, so we'll be hanging out behind the scenes for a minute and probably go hang out with them uh, later. If any of my mods could drop a link to uh, those three channels, that would be awesome. Uh, a lot of people already know, but there's a few people in here that might not know. I don't know who's hosting tonight. Uh, so, so all three of them rotate on the, on channels who is hosting. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys hanging out for the inaugural Sunday fun day edition of the hot seat where Hobo and I just threw down for you guys on our, uh, Blackstone E series griddle. Did you just Good call time. it the inaugural? What is it? Did you just call it the inaugural? It's inaugural? Yeah, but inaugural. Uh, inaugural. <laughs> I got her correcting me in the background, too. Jeez, man, you guys know how much. I got my own dictionary. Oh, well, it was funny. Honey. Honey? Honey, like pee. Punny. Like a pun? A pun? Cool. Like the Punisher? That's Hobo. Hobo punishes me. <laughs> this guy. Big Bad Cat. Luck. Bad luck. We got Big Cat in the house too, man. All right, so Link's there. Let me paste that again for everybody to copy and paste. Uh, Thrash, I see you in the basement. I'll get with you in a minute here. But... Uh, that's it, guys. You've seen it. Good old. Can't really see it, but it was it was good food. Take my word on it. Rewind, rewatch. Love you guys. See you next week. Obo, we're out of here. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Hit the button or else I gotta go put your